Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about the um, gain and the loss on the section 1250 property. So, what is section uh, 1250 properties? So, here it says it's a depreciable real property used in a trade or business under the section 1231. Example like uh, uh, residential and commercial rental properties. So we would say section 1250 depreciation recapture rate is 25% if it's lower than the uh, ordinary income uh, income rates. So I'm going to talk about this in the next slide. Any gains in excess uh, of the section 1250 depreciation recapture will be treated as a section 1231 gains. Long-term long capital gain rate is at 0%, 15%, and 20%. So you can see here, uh, if it's treated as a 1231 gain, it's better off because those rates are lower, right? So you can see this. The sales of the section 1250 property at a loss produce a section 1231 loss and is deducted as an ordinary loss, which can uh, can reduce the ordinary income. So here they just tell you the section 50, 1250 recapture provision only apply to the gains lo losses. So basically say, well, if you uh, have a uh, 1231 gain, going to be treated as a long-term capital gain. However, there's no such thing called long-term capital loss in the 1231 uh, section. So all the losses are treated as, uh, all, all treated as the ordinary loss. For the section uh, 1250 uh, gains read, so you have a choice that you either can use 25% or the ordinary uh, tax rate when the ordinary tax rate is lower than 25%. So if the taxpayer's marginal ordinary income tax rate is less than 22%, which is the bracket like 10% or 12%, so the on recaptured section 1250 gains will be taxed at the taxpayer's lower ordinary income tax rate. This tax is also progressive in the same manner as the regular capital gain tax rates. It is possible for the portion of the gains to be uh, taxed at the 0% rate with any remaining balance of unrecaptured section 12, 1250 gains, then taxed at a 25% uh, rate. So basically, this tell you say, well, so it's uh, it's use the long term capital gain rates. You if you remember, it's a zero percent, fifteen percent, and twenty percent. Here, uh, instead use twenty percent, you're gonna use twenty five percent. So basically, say well, if you below certain bracket, you may tax the at a zero percent rate. So that's what they try to say here. Let's see a example. Here, say a few years ago, Megan um, bought an office building, um, for seven hundred fifty thousand. Um, to be used in her business. Before selling the building for 850000 he wrote off $450,000 in depreciation. So we can find out the new adjusted basis is $300,000, which is equal to the original cost, then minus the depreciation. So when you sell it again, in this case, uh, say what you you bought the property at a seven hundred fifty thousand, then you now sell at eight hundred fifty thousand. So you produce a one hundred thousand dollar. So this again is the section twelve thirty one gain. This is taxed at the long term capital gain rate is 
uh, you can see here 0%, 15%, and 20%. So for the section 12, 50 gains is the entire depreciation. Whenever you sell a depreciable property, when you sell at a gain, your entire depreciation will be recaptured. So here, the uh, entire recaptured depreciation is a 1250 uh, gains. So it's $450,000 here. This will be taxed at a 25% uh, percent tax rate. Uh, if you are, obviously you cannot use ordinary because it's higher. And so what if the building is sold at a $600,000? Uh, you can see if you bought at a 750 sarin, then you sold at a 600 sarin, so you sell at a loss, right? So in this case, you will have no section 1231 gains. So you do have a section uh, 1250 gains because your adjusted basis is $300,000. And you sell at a six hundred thousand dollar. So this gave you a um a section twelve fifty gains three hundred thousand dollar. Basically, this is a partial uh depreciation recapture. So this are uh, taxed at a uh, twenty five percent rate. Then what if the building is sold at a two hundred fifty thousand dollar? I know this is probably in very, very bad time. And so if you bought this building at a 750,000, now you sell at 250,000, so you significant loss, right? However, um, when your adjusted basis is only uh, $300,000, so you, uh, you, in this case, you sell below your adjusted basis, you're going to recognize a $50,000 loss. So this will be treated as a 1231 ordinary income loss.